Hello there, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another episode of Isle 2 Sturmovic Iron Man, where today we're defending our own freaking airfield from the dastardly, dastardly Hun, who's coming to kick our asses on, on our own turf, apparently, at this time. So, yeah, we... we <laughs> distance to target, four nautical miles, yeah. We're going to be climbing as fast as we can up to 20,000 feet. Um, once again, it looks like we are going to be leading yellow section. High will will be on our wing this time. Wing Commander Bloom is leading red section just like he did last time. Wing, wing Commander Bloom has been doing pretty well actually lately. He's got eight bloody kills. He's gonna be he's gonna be beating me soon. Don't know how he does it to be honest with you. How the how the hell do you get three bomber kills in one mission with these puny, puny pathetic guns? Well, it's probably because the AI in this game is like laser accurate with its aiming, but still, um, yeah. Point, more, main point is, though, we've got an experienced pilot on our side, which will mean that his actual artificial intelligence when it comes to dogfighting and stuff will hopefully, because I think that's how it works, will actually be a bit more intelligent and will be more difficult to shoot down. Because um, it doesn't, I don't think it does it in these these West Front campaigns I've got that are modded, but in the original games campaigns, actually, um, if, if someone shot down an ace... Um, uh, i.e. someone with more than five kills, it would actually appear in the post-mission report, like, um, so-and-so shot down German ace, what's-his-face? Uh, it would actually announce that in the thing, and those guys would be particularly difficult to kill, usually. So, I'm assuming it works the same just here, so, yeah, apparently Wing Commander Bloom is a total badass. So there we go. Um, Fraser's doing alright as well, four kills. Um, we've got a few others down here as well. Who's this? Rolf... Langridge, Stewart, and Highwell as well. He's going to be flying on a wing as well. He's done three sorties and he's already got a kill. That's not bad. Um, overall kills is now up to 42, which is not bad for 399 flights, I suppose. Combined, you know, out of all these, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. Not bad. We have lost so far Selwyn, John, Spurlock, Sturridge, Hud, George, Freeman... Smith, Parbury, Grace, Robbins, Hebden, Sterling, Sergeants, and Bell, Hugh, and Graves. The casualty list is uh, is, is tartan up, isn't it? A bit really. That's all. That that's going all the way back to July. Uh, we're currently the what's the date? Eighteenth of August. Yeah. This might. In fact, I think this is the exact same day as the last mission because it's eighteenth of August. No, never mind. So-and-so joined the squadron on 18th of August. It's actually August 20th now, so there we go. We're getting towards the end of August and into September, and I think once we get into September, the next phase of the Battle of Britain will begin where it'll be the London Blitz, where we will be protecting London from German bombers, which should be kind of interesting. And hopefully, I think, once that part of the campaign starts, we actually get issued with our Spitfire Mark IIs, which uh, will hopefully make life a bit easier, but we'll see. So, in the meantime... Let's go. Let's do this. Probably same procedure as last time. Going to try and focus on the bombers, seeing as that that just seems to work in general. We get more kills of both fighters and bombers when we when we go after the bomber formation on mass first and leave the escort sort of floundering around. But uh, you know, so that, that, rather than having everyone dive after the fighters where we inevitably all get killed, um, that's probably what I'm going to be doing. Although I'm going to be trying, hopefully, a little. Be a bit, a bit more sparing with the ammunition this time, and we'll see. I wouldn't mind actually having a bit a bit left for the journey back, in case we get ambushed, like we almost were last time. So, right. Send the bloody track of our bit there. There we go. Engine on. Who do we have with us this time? So, in front of me, that's red section. Behind me here is yellow section, and we've got... Three hurricanes. Three hurricanes from the same squadron as the last bunch. So, not the poles. I think the poles might all be dead, to be honest with you. <laughs> Enough of them seem to have gotten shot down. Which uh, is a shame, because in real life, the Polish squadrons were the highest scoring of all the RAF squadrons during the Battle of Britain. They kicked ass and took names um, like you wouldn't believe. They were total badasses, but in this game, sadly not, it appears. Not for any particular reason, it's just because the AI is a bit terrible in general, I think, really. But never mind. 
Okay, well. Speed things up a bit. And let's go. I'm not sure I'm going to circle around waiting for the others this time. I'm just going to go straight into a steep climb and hopefully they should be able to catch up. Talk and here we go. Off the ground. Jolly good. Right then, so. I guess, folks, I'm going to join you when we get. I, well, either we get attacked by the enemy or we get up to our altitude and ready to attack them. We'll, we'll see how this works out. All right, after flying around up here for what seems like a bloody age, um, we just got the call for bombers five o'clock low. So, let's have a shifty around. We're up here at 7,200 meters, which roughly equates to 24,000 feet, I think. Yeah, pretty bloody high up. I went decided to go up a bit higher than... Um, then the briefing specified, just as usual, to be on the safe side. However, no, I can't see anything that's... Oh, there we go. Right, okay. Bombers, 12 o'clock, yep. Yeah. More or less, anyway. In fact, we're, we've been up so high, as you can see, we've been contrailing. So, there you go. Um, okay, so we got bombers. Bombers, bombers. Right, those are like fighters, actually, to be honest with you. Yeah, it looks like 110s. We are not interested in them, though. Unless those are the bombers, maybe they're fighter bombers. Who knows? Unless no, those are the bombers over there. I think, or possibly over there. Those look like bombers to me. But I think we. Oh god, I think we might have just wandered into the fighters. So it might be our job to deal with them. And sadly, yep, they're pretty bloody close. All right then, chaps, let's do this. Oh god, are those? Oh, I think the single engines as well. Or no, no, I don't know. Looks, yeah, I think it's one of nines, right? Let's face the music, guys. I haven't got out of practice. <laughs> three, Already, really? You got one on your tail? I do hope that's someone from another bloody flight. Years. I need to keep my situational awareness going. Also, check behind you before you attack. That's all usually a good idea, actually. Alright, okay, this guy looks like he's dived away under my nose because he got scared. You big bloody scaredy cat. Yeah, there he is. Uh, so we'll ignore him. Yep, yeah, low three, that's wonderful. Oh, good God, he just bloody exploded. Look at that. We really are the worst fighter pilots ever, really, seriously. Look at how many of them there are and how few of us there are. It's going to be another one of those missions, folks, I'm afraid. leader will that be those guys going after the bombers hello there mr. 109 would you like to come play with me instead of my friend over there oh Christ my, really rudder controls damaged on the first hit Jesus game give me a break that's gonna make it almost impossible to aim now Didn't even see that guy either, which really annoys me. Holy crap, who the. Jesus, there's someone behind me. My wing is gone. I'm getting out. Both wings are gone. Fucking hell, guys. This is what happens when you go up 
outnumbered against cannon armed fighters. They just blow your fucking wings off, just like that. Like they're paper. Now, hopefully, our fucking chute will open as soon as we get low enough. Mission over. Well, apparently, the bomb has got a pasting then in that case. Doesn't sound good, does it, on the radio there? Oh yes, hello Red Leader. Oh look, your entire flight is intact. I wonder why that could be. Because my flight had to pay for it, that's why. Looks like the Hurricanes took a beating as well. I'm trying to find the ones that are being engaged by the 109s in a minute. Well, he's not having a good day. Oh, it looks like it's some of the hurricanes. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be another bad day for the RAF. Like Red Leader's having a bad day too. Jesus. Alright, folks, well, I'll be back with you once this mess has been cleaned up. Well, to absolutely nobody surprised, yep, we got plastered. Uh, okay, look at that. Jesus. Everyone got shot down, by the way. Um, everybody. Um, I, some of us bailed out, but in the end, everyone sure got shot down. There were no friendly planes left for me to spectate. Um, everyone got knocked out of the sky. We got, for, for our sacrifice, we managed to down a BF-110, an HE-111, an HE-111, another HE-111. Another hind call went down over there. And a couple more hind calls collided or crashed or something over here um and for that we okay hardy bailed out but it'd actually be easiest to read who was killed calvert was killed there we go bloody hell wing commander bloom somehow managed to find the time to get two more kills mind you um jesus but yeah, 15 to 20 hind calls, four 109Es and four VF-110s. See, that's what I don't get. There were less fighters in this mission than there were in the last one, and yet we still still somehow managed to get shot down by them all. Oh, my God. <sighs> well, okay, let's see what we've got next. Sergeant Brackenbury joined the squadron. It's August 22nd now. Um... Apparently, we're going to be con patrolling around RAF Tangmere and uh, RAF Ford Royal Naval Air Station. Hmm. Well, it's a change of scenery, if nothing else, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll do better than that time. There's only four of us going up this time, which, uh, you know, concerns me a bit, but uh, we'll see how we get on. Catch you later, folks.